The labor button is typically used to enter any one-time labor as needed. This would be something not already stored as part of a job or to be transferred from the estimator or a parts catalog if it included labor. Work requested is the recording of what your customer thinks they need and wants you to do. Work performed is what you did. Enter detailed justification for your labor charges, demonstrating your shop's ability to meet or exceed customer expectations. If you're providing little extras with your oil changes like checking fluid levels and tire pressure, make sure your customers know about it. When labor time is entered into charged hours, SE calculates a labor price by multiplying the hours entered by the labor rate assigned to that customer. Typically that's retail, although you may use another rate from the labor rate table. Charged hours is the time charged to the customer that will appear on their invoice. Pay hours is the amount for technicians as displayed on technician commission reports. Actual hours is provided for users to enter the actual time that the technician spent doing the job when it differs from the existing charged hours and pay hours. You may also sell the labor by price or flat rate. After entering work requested and work performed, bypass the charged hours field with the tab key and enter a dollar amount in labor total. The non-standard labor rate box will become checked and the program will do a different calculation. That's looking at the labor price versus your labor rate and then figuring out what that is time-wise and copying that number into all three time fields. Category is supplied by the user to make sure the item dollars are recorded in such a way as to drive reports such as category profit summary. It's simple to do thanks to a drop list of your existing categories. Account is a default setting. If your labor is taxable, that's already selected. If your labor is non-taxable, you'd have the labor non-taxable account selected in standard tables account classes. Commissions in the far right column usually reads VAR for variable commission values selected in technician setup. Selecting fixed commissions changes the commission column to accept specific dollar amounts instead of using the variable percentage method. The technician grid holds up to six assignments. Typically it's a single tech on line one. Having please select as your default technician is a good practice. It's a real-time reminder to get one of your technicians assigned to the work, but it also fills labor cost fields for the check profit function. If there is a need to split the labor on a particular labor item, multiple techs may be assigned from the drop list provided for each technician slot in the grid. Adjust the total hours so that a portion is listed for each technician included. The Tax button is provided to adjust tax status of this item only. Type provides access to the labor rate table to make an exception on this item only. Symptom only applies to labor items that were selected as symptoms from the symptoms list. Cancel will close this window without saving your typed input. Save will add your input to the current order seen in the background and keep the window open for further input. Done will add your input to the order in the background and close this window.